Yes, Shannon, that rebuilding process is just beginning. We're talking about for the newlywed couple who just got married in May, and here we are five months later. Now they have to start all over. Um, that's going to be our next um, hurdle. Yeah. Figuring out a place to stay. <clears throat> Newlyweds and new homeowners Cody and Courtney Campbell are still processing that they no longer have a home after a small plane crashed into their next door neighbor's house and caught fire, destroying both their homes Monday afternoon and killing the pilot and their neighborhood UPS driver. Just by chance, he, you know, was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Community support continues to pour in. Landed. Oh my gosh, you're <laughs> Thank so you. sweet. Thank you so much. Oh, I needed these. Yeah. The fact that, you know, we're standing here and that the dog was picked up and that, you know, Phil and Maria, our neighbors, were able to get out um, safely. Um, a long recovery, obviously, a ahead for them as well. But Both Cody and Courtney were at their hospitality jobs. Courtney's mom picked up their dog in the morning, but that wasn't the case for Phil and Maria. Both retired and inside their home when the plane hit. They were watching TV and, you know, the plane hit the front of the house and next thing you know, it fireball through through the window that they were sitting in front of. James Slaff Gruel says he's grateful for the Santee neighbors who pulled his parents out of their burning home. There's somebody back there. These people just risked everything for people they don't know. As both Phil and Maria recover from their second and third degree burns on their bodies, James says his mom is heartbroken. They what were unable the to side? save their dog, Roxy. My mom and, and Phil processed the fact that Roxy is no longer with them. You know, she, she tried to go back into a burning building to get her dog. Now dealing with insurance, both couples plan to rebuild their Santee homes. 12 to 18 months before anything permanent is either rebuilt or we find another yeah. home or whatever that looks like. So the good news is that both plan to rebuild, but the uncertainty part of it is that they don't know how long this will realistically take if they have to deal with the insurance. Now with that plane aspect, it's making it much more difficult for them to get that process started. On top of the uncertainty with the supply chain, they said now they have to find a way to get materials to even start. Marcella and Carlo. Heather, a uh, tragedy for both families, but at least all lives there in those homes spared. You think of the newlyweds and you think of all of those brand new wedding gifts they received. Is there anything that they told you today they were hoping that they could still find in all of that rubble? Since they were just married, the husband says so now he's just been wearing a rubber silicon band. He did have his wedding ring inside their home. They're hoping whenever they're allowed to really go back in and dig that they may be able to find it. So much work for them to do, so much ahead of them. We wish them the best. Thanks, Heather.